Fall camp, it's it's going really well. It's uh, it, it's nice to be back playing football after coming off of a, of a surgery back in December. Uh, I wasn't able to participate in spring back at Nebraska, so it was uh, it's nice to kind of get my feet back under me, um, start striking pads again, and uh, you know get back in the trenches. It's been really fun. What was the surgery for? Uh, I, I had an issue with my knee. Um, it was a quick thing. It, it was uh, something that I knew I had to get fixed. I was able to play through it last year. Uh, I just I scheduled to you know to get it cleaned up at the end of the year. Um, nothing too serious. Just go. Yeah, pretty much. Right uh, uh, left. What was, yeah. what was your reason for coming to Oregon? And did you have any uh, communication with Tuioti or Jordan Riley? Um, or just I mean, process? I think I, obviously Coach T was a big reason why I came here. Uh, when I went into the portal and he reached out, he was obviously a familiar face. Uh, played for the, played for him for the past three years. He, he's a mentor to me. He's, he's like a father figure to me. So when uh, when he gave me that opportunity, it was kind of a no-brainer. Uh, it, it's it's really nice because you know I'm speaking the same language as I did back back in my old school. So it's kind of a quick transition. The only thing I really need to do is you know learn the playbook here and uh, you know get get to know some of the guys. But it's been really smooth. It's been really nice. I probably could, I couldn't have asked for an easier transition. Um, but but overall, yeah, Coach Taylor is one of the main reasons why I came here. That's really the upside, Casey. But from a competition standpoint, clearly you welcome it because I'm sure you could have gone places where the depth chart was not as deep as this group, where like you could have probably walked in and been a borderline guaranteed starter somewhere. And here, this is a really deep interior defensive line. Just how did you think about by way of coming into a place where it's really deep and really competitive? Yeah, no doubt. So the way, the way I kind of looked at that is I don't have much time left in, in my in my eligibility. So I think, uh, and like I said, I, like you said, I, I probably could have gone somewhere and, and played right away. But I think that it was really important that I went somewhere where I didn't have to learn a whole new scheme or a whole new uh, techniques and stuff like that. You know, Coach Teodi, I can come in, I can speak the same language as him. There's a little transition period in between get, getting, when you get a new defensive line coach or any new coach in that, in, in that say, but um, you know, it was really easy. I didn't have to learn, I didn't have to learn anything new. It was, um, you know, and I'm actually able to come in here and help some of the some of the guys here who are, are getting used to Coach Teodi. Sure. I kind of know the ins and out, oops, sorry. I kind of know the ins and out of uh, um, Tim a little bit. And uh, when they have questions, I'm able to help out. I'm, you know, I've, I've played college football for five years, so I, I kind of have some experience under my belt that I, I can help them with. Do you see yourself as a 2-I, 3-4-I, 5? What's kind of your yeah, primary I mean, spot? I've kind of played all over the line. Uh, you know, playing in the Big Ten, I, I've played from a, a nose guard to a 5 technique to a 9 um, to a 3. I mean, it, that's kind of why I think that, you know, something I have in my pocket is I'm able to play anywhere on the line and, and be successful. Um, and, I, and I think that being able to, you know, play – Obviously, in the Big Ten, you see a lot bigger uh, offensive linemen, um, and and I've been, I was able to do that there. So I, I think that that will be very helpful, you know, with with Coach T and me being able to so do that. So when you're looking at their defense in the off season and looking at film from, I'm sure George's unit mainly, I don't think you'd be looking at Jordan Davis. Um, but, that, but I mean, who, who were the guys? Was it Walker? Was it Carter? Who who were the guys who you kind of for the role that you're kind of carved out? See, that, that was the thing. I kind of had to watch everyone because I knew that that I was going to be able to play at any any spot on that line. Um, you know, that kind of made it that, made it that much harder. I, I couldn't just learn one position. Sure. Not that I was going into, but um, I was, you know, able to really dig deep into the playbook, you know, figure out every position on that line. And, uh, you know, that's kind of because I, I didn't know what to expect, but I wanted to be ready for anything. If, if Coach T or Coach Tosh told me to told me to get out there and play safety, you know, I'll go out there and play safety. But, um, but yeah, really the main focus was just making sure um, I knew what I was doing when I got here. What's it like playing in a Tosh loop play led defense? You know, it, it's it's really cool because I've I've had the experience of playing under two really good defensive coordinators now, um, and, and you could tell you could tell that uh, you know Coach Tosh he's he's really intense and you know he, he brings that NFL mindset down down to the college level and it's uh it's pretty cool because you know especially with with I don't have much time left before I'm, I try to get to the NFL and you know having that experience of playing under a, a NFL style NFL level defensive coordinator I think that will be really nice for when I make that next step. When it comes to camp, how have you been able to kind of balance competing with the other guys, but also building a chemistry, being a new guy here? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I think it's a little different from when uh, Jordan and I kind of got here. Uh, we're a little older. We're a little bit more mature. We, we've been in college football before. We, we kind of understand the whole, you know, schedules behind stuff like that. And you know, those guys have been nothing but amazing. Um, like I said, the the, uh, the connections I've already gained with these guys is. is I haven't been happier in college since I've been here. You know, I mean, I have just I absolutely love it here, and it's partly it's 100% because of the room we have. Um, they've taken Jordan and I under their wings, and, and you know, the cool part is, is you know, they're like you talk about doorless, doorless, great pass rusher. You know, 
he's able to help me, and there's sometimes I might be able to help him uh, with the experience I've had, I've had in the run game in the Big Ten. So not that he needs to work on his run game, but I mean, I just I'm able to help him, and he's able to help me, and I think that goes around the whole room with at least the older guys right now. When did you first get here, Jordan? Uh, I was here in I think July, sometime in July. So the reason why I ask is because the day after Spence, uh, you had a presence about you around your new teammates for a guy who had only been here for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, where where does that kind of come from? Because it was clearly genuine. It wasn't like you, you were not trying to do something more than. But what was that? Because, like I say, you just had a certain presence and poise about you and, and you know, outside odds in that night. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the that whole situation was obviously really difficult for everyone on the team. You know, being a new guy, it was obviously uh, a little a little weird situation. I, I knew Spence, uh, and obviously I shared a locker room with him for, for the two weeks that I was here. Um, you know, I had my own relationship with him, but but obviously some of these guys have been with him their whole career. And, you know, I kind of had to put myself in their shoes. If I was at Nebraska and lost one of my teammates, how would I feel? How would I want to, you know, how would I want someone to, you know, be there for me? Uh, and that's kind of what I had to do. You know, obviously I didn't share the same relationship as them, but I, I made sure they knew I was there. Um, you know, situations like that is is just kind of where my personality comes out. I, I like to be there for people. That's kind of just how I am in uh, in situations like that. But uh, but yeah, that was uh, you know as, as sad as it was, it brought the team together a lot. As as things like that usually does happen. Uh, but you know, I just had to tell them I'm here for you. You know, I know I'm new, but if if you need anything, let me know, and I'll get that done for you. That this team is very, he feels like player led. How can you speak to that? You know, what what's being said in the locker room when the coaches aren't there? Like, how 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 is it player led? Yeah, I mean, I think on any any team that's player led is usually very successful. When when the coaches don't have to worry about little things and when the players are, are really dealing with that by themselves, I think that takes a, a lot of weight off their shoulders. And they can do what they can do what they want to do. If they they want to coach and they want to watch film, they want to get everyone ready. They don't want to have to be dealing with the little things. Um, not that we have that going on, but it, but it, it just says something when when a, an older guy or or a group of guys you know gets on someone else, you know, something that a coach usually does, but now it's coming from a player. As from experience, you know, as a young guy, when when an older guy gets on you, it means a little different than when when a coach does. Uh, coaches are supposed to coach, you know, players. Sometimes if you get yelled at by a player, you know, it hits home a little bit. Um, and I, I think that's just been huge here. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed. You know, coming here, I, I came from a, a player-led team back back in Nebraska, and I think that. Uh, like I said, I didn't know really what to expect when I got here, but I was very surprised and, and very uh, happy with how, how player-led this team really is. At those first couple days where you guys are kind of getting in the grind of fall camp, what were some things that you guys were saying as players that you wanted to do? Not coming from the coaches, but coming from the players. Yeah, I think I think it was crucial. You know, a lot of these guys in the D-line were, were hurt all spring, so we really had to set a tone. Um, you know, the 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 O-line really hadn't seen you know what what this group of guys really is about yet. You know, with with Doorless and Do Popo and Keon all being out, and then Jordan and I coming in, and the new guys coming in, um, we really had a standard to set, and uh, you know that was kind of the emphasis. Was, let's let's get after it right away. You know, uh, we were all ready. We were ready. You know, the the new guys knew what they were doing, and Jordan and I knew like the, the technique and everything that Coach T wanted, and we were able to you know start get on a jump right away. That was kind of a big thing. Was you know don't wait. You know don't don't just dip your toe in, jump into the water. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's something that this D line has definitely done. I'm very proud with how how we've done it.